For the majority of people, it's relatively unknown what causes inflammatory and autoimmune disease. On the other hand, for tens of thousands of people, it's just common knowledge the cause of these diseases. These diseases are caused by unnatural substances in your diet. And in most of my videos, I put a lot of caveats and I say that evidence suggests such and such, but I don't even need to do that here. It's just very obvious to anyone who has studied the subject in depth that autoimmune and inflammatory diseases are usually caused in large part by unnatural substances in your diet. There's one diet in particular that's best at curing these diseases, and it's a very strict diet, and I don't follow it exactly myself. It's called the paleo diet. There's only been one study, to my knowledge, ever done on the paleo diet's effectiveness in curing these diseases, because there's really no funding mechanism. There was a doctor in France, however, who took it upon himself to conduct his own study on his own patients, and these were the findings. Success in this study was defined as a 50% remission in symptoms. Rheumatoid arthritis, 200 cases, 80% success rate. Lupus, 13 cases, 100% success rate. Multiple sclerosis, 33 cases, 97% success rate. Fibromyalgia, 41 cases, 97% success rate. Osteoporosis, 20 cases, no further progression of the disease in 50% of the cases. Gout, 2 cases, 2 total remissions. Migraines, 40 cases, 85% success rate. Depression, 16 cases, 93% success rate. Now, depression is not an inflammatory disease, but there's a lot of evidence that depression is exacerbated by a lack of essential fatty acids and by an improper calcium-magnesium ratio, and paleo diet's very effective in curing both of those problems. Overweight, 100 cases, 80% success rate. IBS, 220 cases, 98% success rate. Crohn's disease, 40 cases, 100% success rate. Acne, 40 cases, 100% success rate. Eczema, 11 cases, 100% success rate. Psoriasis, 53 cases, 77% success rate. Hay fever, 35 cases, 100% success rate. Asthma, 51 cases, 96% success rate. Chronic fatigue syndrome, 11 cases, 82% success rate. You don't really even need a study, though. All you have to do is look at people from native societies who eat natural, unprocessed food, and you'll see that these diseases are very rare, in fact, almost unknown. And yet, when you come to the developed world, the more processed food people eat, the more they get these diseases. It really becomes obvious after a while. Now, you're probably wondering why have I never heard of this. And there are a number of reasons, but the main one is that that's simply how the market works. If there's no profit in something, then there's no money for advertising or for studies. Let me give you an example. There's a person in Scandinavia named Wei who stumbled upon the paleo diet as a cure for acne probably 10 years ago. And she was so excited about it that she wrote a free ebook, which is still given out for free on the internet. And she advertised, and in the early days of the internet, her book used to come up as a fairly high hit for acne cures. Today you'll never find her book as a, when you're doing a search for acne cures because there are a lot of other high-profit cures that uh, have usurped her website. And that's just the way things are. The reason you see this video now on YouTube is that there's not a lot of advertising on YouTube at this point. Someday in the future, if there are a lot of slick videos out there for drugs to cure autoimmune and inflammatory diseases, then this video will get pushed to the bottom of the rungs. Now maybe you're wondering why I mentioned paleo diet in particular. There are a lot of diets that will improve the symptoms in these diseases, but paleo diet does it best in my opinion because it's the most extreme natural diet out there. And you'll be able to see an improvement more rapidly than in any other way. And the nice thing is that it's for free. You may not believe it, but it probably sounds like a reasonable hypothesis, so you can just try it out for free and see if it works. In fact, you don't even have to spend a penny. You can get Way's book for free off the internet. It's available at freeacnebook.com.
In all honesty, I have to recommend Way's book over all others, including mine, on this particular issue of using the paleo diet to overcome autoimmune and inflammatory diseases. You see, the real difficulty with the paleo diet is that it's a very extreme diet, and Way does a good job of explaining that it's not a diet you necessarily have to follow for life. If you choose, you can simply test it out, see if it works for your particular condition, and then gradually transition back to a more sustainable and yet still healthy diet. Now there's one more very important issue that I need to cover in relation to these diseases in our society, and it's more in keeping with the theme of unknown information in the rest of my videos. You see, a few percentage of the population already know the cause of these diseases. It's not as if this is completely unknown. But what is almost completely unknown is why people have particular reactions when they do hear about a viable cure, or at least what sounds like a reasonable hypothesis for curing these diseases. You see, most people, even if they see a video like this, and even if they hear a very logical description of how to cure these diseases, and even if they research the paleo diet, what they'll end up doing is saying, that sounds like a good idea, maybe I'll do it one day, and nothing ever happens. And then there's a small percentage of the population that will s actually become strongly opposed to it and angry and say, that doesn't make any sense at all. There are a few different reasons why people have this type of reaction, and unfortunately I don't have time to go over them all. But if you suffer from one of these painful conditions, it's important to ask yourself, why wouldn't you pursue a cure that's safe, cheap, and has a reasonably good chance of success? We all deserve to have the best health possible.